Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this video. Today we're talking about web security and again we're talking about injections, uh, especially about uh, SQL injections. To follow up with this tutorial you can visit rudolfsonspizza.esy.es and hack this site if you want to. Yeah, so but first Everything you learn here is for securing your own web applications and not to hack anybody else's. So uh, this is illegal and it's really evil. So also I'm not liable for any special or direct or indirect damage for any other damage resulting from the use of information presented in this video. So let's get started with injections again. An injection is used by an attacker to introduce or inject code into a vulnerable computer program and change the course of execution. So we can use anything that posts something on the server which uses an SQL statement behind to get data from the database. All right. So we can even uh, use the order thing, we even can uh, use this select box here. If you uh, go to the select, you see that we have here different types of values. All right. So if you're, if you are an hacker, you can test out if these values have to has something have something to do with uh, the SQL statement even uh, simply by changing the value. So I changed this to two per vegetarian. And as you see, I got the salami pizza and prosciutto pizza. So it has to do something uh, with an SQL statement behind. So this value is used by an SQL statement. So we can use this value field for uh, injecting our uh, SQL. So what we are going to do today is we're trying to output every uh, username inside of this uh, menu. So we want to uh, output the pizza, uh, the username here and the password inside of the ingredients. Okay. So let's take a look at the SQL injections. So there is probably a statement in the on the server that uh, looks something like this. Select star from pizza where type equals type. We don't know how this field is called. We don't know how this uh, uh, table is called and we don't know how many fields are selected there. But as we know, uh, a hacker always tries to some, sometimes he tries 500 times uh, and then it works. So, we have to test out how many uh, fields we have there. And as I know how many fields we have, there are six fields. And we can simply uh, try this out by uh, making a union select. So what a union select does is it combines two tables or two select statements within one uh, within one resulting table. Okay. So it selects these and combines this table with this table. So we could inject a select username and user password from user. And this will probably look something like this. So if we copy this and I try to work this in my database, you see that it combines these two tables. So if we try to inject this uh, SQL statement inside of here, we simply have to do union select, then one, two, three, four, five, six, we have to test it out if you don't know how the uh, table structure works behind. So uh, if we do something like this 
I copy this. Uh, can you see that we will uh, get back? Oh, uh, copy this. Of course, we have to go to vegetarian. If we do this, you see that we get back two, four, five. So we know that the second uh, field is displayed as the uh, as the headline here. So we can inject uh, the username inside of the second statement. And the fourth statement are the ingredients. So we could inject the password inside of the ingredients. So if we copy our statement and we of course the hacker has to know how the uh, field in the table is called. So if he doesn't know uh, that, the, that the field is called user underline name or user underline password, then he will not get any results. But as we tested it out 100 times, we found out that the username inside of the table is called user underline name and the password is called user underline pw uh, pw so if we uh, again select our uh, vegetarian here we will uh, get everything from the user table so we have the username and the user password and as you see the password is uh, uh, stored as plain text inside of the database and this is really really bad it is a real, really bad habit okay so we have the employee one with his password we have the employee two with his password we have the Peter with his password and we have the Simon with the password so we can now simply log in with employee two employee two and put in the password and we're logged in as employee too and now we can post something evil inside of the secret chat okay so this is pretty pretty bad so why does this work um okay so let's have a look at the uh, pizza list here so again I'm using uh, the old MySQL query to get this bad result and this is another way how to do this because this is really bad. We ha don't have a prepared statement and we don't have a, a placeholder. So what we do here is get all pizza entries, select star from pizza. There is nothing to inject because there is no variable. As we see we have a variable called type and this is uh, the cookie type so we save something in a cookie and we can look this up if we uh, set post type which is this then we set a new cookie with uh, the post value pizza type uh, for 30 days so we will have this every time we enter the order page because we have a cookie here set for this all right so um and inside of these if a cookie is set we set the type to the cookie and our cookie looks like this statement and this is our cookie okay and we simply say Select, uh, if we uh, select a, a vegetarian or meat, we have something to inject. Because if type equals one, uh, we have something here to inject, okay? So we can say, inject the type. And the type is set to union select one two three four five from user and put the username and the user password so this will uh, make a query on the database and for every row we will print out uh, these uh, data and as we uh, have seen in the database 
we get back something like this. So it will print out every every single row until we're done and we are displaying this for the user. So how can we uh, change this? At first get rid of the old MySQL. And we're using the PDO. So what we do here is we call the PDO object that we create in the my handler and we saved it in the TB. Okay, and then we create a prepared statement for that. <coughs> and this simply uh, gets pre parsed from the database, and the database knows how this uh, statement looks like. So everything that is inserted in this uh, placeholder with the colon. Uh, will be ignored if there is an, another SQL statement. So it executes this with the placeholder code type. And if there is any SQL in it, it will simply uh, parse it as a string and not as a uh, different uh, SQL statement. So this won't work anymore. So now we get uh, we will fetch all the uh, all the uh, all our results and we say for each or while or whatever uh, pizza as row and then we get for every uh, single row we have here we output our information. So if we try this again, you see it's not working anymore. So if I type in vegetarian, it will show me vegetarian. If I type in meat, it shows me the meat. If I type in all, it gives me all. But what happens if I try to uh, inject my SQL again? So we're copying this again and we have our union select statement here. We click on select and it's not working. So now we have a safe application here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You learned a lot. And of course, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, to hit the subscribe button and to uh, uh, share this video everywhere on the internet. So see us in the next video. Bye.